Dalton's going to be on the job hunt if he can't figure this one out. Good. You're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself. We don't conduct the sweep ourselves, but the ones who do have proven to be extremely thorough. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Laru Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. We don't deal in trust here. I think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. Inside's a bad place for tourists. where my talents are actually respected. You got an appointment? Cause if not, consider this area reserved. Oh yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Sorry, but I can't. Look, I'd like to help, but...
<laughs> a break in neon. I don't think so. Now pay up. I don't have all day. While you're snooping around in the tower, I just need you to hit up one more workstation on the way. It's Camden Cho's. Just run the same program on the slate I'll give you, and you're good. It's that simple. Suit yourself. So why don't we get back to that payment? A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Ilaro has is bound to take some real work, more than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting.
make yourself at home. Just don't take any souvenirs while you're here. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. An old pro, huh? No wonder Ryujin likes you so much. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Since you came through on your end, let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Sauzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. Don't be too sure about that. Imogene was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything she does. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell away. I assume success is in order. I had a few reports, but at least nothing that set off any red flags. I expected as much. Now, let's see what we have here. Someone's been accessing Lalu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off.
she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. You have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. <laughs> 